Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. And in today's video, we're gonna be replacing a six inch corrugated main line that has been taken over completely by tree roots. We're also gonna be talking about tree roots and how they are the most destructive thing to any drainage system. So as you can see here, these are some pretty large maple trees that we got in this front yard and the tree roots expand out as far as the canopy. Now they will go underneath foundations to your home they will go through drainage pipes. They will essentially get into everything. Tree roots are very invasive. They find a way in, especially if there's moisture and if there is water that they can sniff out, they will get in there. So as you can see, we have started digging here and we have found the six inch main line that has been completely compromised with roots. Later in this video, I'll go ahead and I'll put some camera snake footage so that you can see inside this main line what it looks like. But basically, it has been clogged full of roots from this tree and is barely letting a trickle of water come through it. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be digging up this section here we're going to cut out what we can of this pipe, and then we're going to be putting in a new six inch corrugated main line. Now, the pipe that we're going to be using is not your typical corrugated pipe that you get at a big box store. The pipe we're going to be using is called highway pipe. You have to go to a waterworks store to get it. Basically, the wall thickness on it is a lot thicker than the one that you could get at the big box store. So this should also help keep the roots out and from crushing the pipe for a little while longer. Now, obviously, we're resetting the clock here as we cut all these roots out of the ground. Once we take all this wood out of the ground, that essentially resets the clock. So this tree has to start all over again, developing this section of roots to get this size because it does take a while for these roots to grow this big. So as you can see, we've been cutting through these roots. Um, we used both a reciprocating saw and we used a chainsaw, just a cheap chainsaw that I don't care if it gets dirty and messed up and it makes the job a whole lot easier. Now at the very end here where this section of pipe goes underneath the sidewalk, this section is still good. So what we'll do is we'll cut off the collapsed and busted section and we'll use that to tap our new six inch corrugated main line into. All right, so I've been doing this for a while now, roughly going on about eight years. And I can tell you roots will get into any kind of system. It doesn't matter if you're running schedule 40 PVC or corrugated or dual wall pipe. It really just, it doesn't make a difference. Over time, these tree roots will get into a system. I mean, take a look at this one right here that's coming out of the ground. You're not getting through that with a reciprocating saw. We had to use a chainsaw to cut that out. And there's going to be a couple more of that size here in this video that have to get removed. Now, whenever you are running a drainage system past tree roots like this for stormwater, I would definitely recommend corrugated because there are less joints. Tree roots love to get in through the joints. That's probably the number one way they get into a system. The other way they get in is by simply wrapping around a section of the pipe or fitting and they slowly crush it to where that fitting breaks and a crack develops and then the roots will enter in through there and the root system begins to grow throughout the pipe. Now right here, we're having to pry out a large section of root that wrapped around the six by six by six Y fitting that connects into this main line. That is probably the way that the roots got into this system was through this joint. Now, we're gonna have to replace this section of pipe up to this Y fitting, and this Y fitting is gonna also have to get removed. So that's what we're working on now. And we, every single downspout to this home, including catch basin boxes in the backyard, all connect into the six inch main line. Now, when I ran my camera inspection snake through here, the rest of the line isn't compromised going to the backyard. It was only this front section up to this Y fitting that the roots had gotten in and had compromised the pipe. So as you can see, the installers that installed this line, they did it correctly. I mean, they used tile tape on the Y fitting. They used good fittings. They used a decent pipe. It's agriculture grade pipe. So th this system held up for a while for this client. But unfortunately, like I stated already, over time, tree roots get into systems. It's just the way it works. All right, so we got the Y fitting cut out. And as you can see, one of those lines is a four inch main line for the downspout that is right to the left of us. 
So it was a six by six by six Y with a reducer fitting onto it to accept that four inch line. Now this four inch line here, it does have a bunch of shingle gravel caught up in it because of the root intrusion that was going on in this Y. It blocked it so that roof shingle gravel was starting to get clogged up and pile up. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to run our hose jetter in here and we're going to jet this little section of line out just to get that cleared out. There's really no point in replacing this main line and doing all this work if you have a small section of pipe that's clogged up for a downspout. So it's a lot easier to get that cleared out now while we have everything opened up and we have a trench and just let the water flow down the trench and make its way down to the road. So this hose jetter, it works tremendously for small jobs like this. For anything bigger with you know a lot more sediment and gravel and debris in a pipe, we'll use our pressure washer with our jetter on it. But for stuff like this, the hose jetter is a lot easier. It's just a nozzle that goes on the end of the hose and it works the same way. All right, so now that we have our trench completely dug, we got all the roots removed and we also jetted out the lines to ensure that those are clear and gonna be functioning properly. It's time to get our six inch mainline corrugated pipe installed. Now, ADS is a spooky company. The pipe that they manufacture, it all looks the same, but I can tell you right now, there's definitely different qualities to this pipe and there's different thicknesses. This six inch pipe right here, you can't tell with a camera, but if you were to feel it in person, there's definitely a difference with this pipe compared to the one that you could get in the big box store. The thickness on it is different and the way it feels is also different. The quality of the plastic is different. It's very strange, but when you start studying this stuff and really getting into it, you start noticing and seeing all these little nuance differences. Now, the best way you can tell if your trench is level is if that water is flowing downhill. And as you can see here, we got a nice downhill flow and the water's coming out of the basin discharge end. Now, a lot of guys, especially the old school guys, they would use a basin discharge end. So that's why this system has it. But as you can see here, we have our lines prepped. So we have our lateral to the left, which is gonna be that four inch gutter downspout line. And then we have our six inch main line that's prepped up and ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a stub out on that four inch line. We're gonna be using the FDM high octane blue corrugated pipe. We're gonna cup link that on and then we're gonna tile tape up that section very, very well. Now, instead of using a Y fitting here, what we opted to do instead is we're going to put a 12 by 12 catch basin and connect all of these lines into that catch basin instead. The reason we decided to use a catch basin instead of just replacing the Y is for two reasons. One, you have an access point. Now you can access all three lines in one area. And the second reason is because this is kind of a low spot. Because those tree roots move the ground up so much, it created a slight hill. So in this low spot, water can collect. So the catch basin will also collect any surface water that may gather in this area. Now it's time to connect our main line, our new main line into the existing main line. We're gonna be using a six by six coupling for this. And this is just simply going to connect both pieces of pipe together. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna push it on the existing main line. And then we are going to push our new main line into it. And then we're going to tile tape this entire connection up very well to help keep those tree roots out of our pipe. All right, so we got our new six inch corrugated pipe main line installed. It's laying flat on the bottom of the trench and sloping in the direction that we want it to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera snake footage that I got on the assessment when I was first looking at this system. So this is directly underneath the sidewalk going into the tree section. Now, as you can see, the bottom of this pipe is just completely filled in with roots. Now, as we keep pushing our way forward, it's going to get to a point where we're not going to be able to even go any further. As you can see, the roots have just totally collapsed this section of pipe and have filled the entire thing in. So these roots have basically grown through this pipe and around this pipe. The entire pipe has become a root. So there is no jetting this out. There is no snaking this out with, a, with an auger. It, you have to replace this. There's just no way around it. Any company that says, oh, we can just snake through that, 
there's just no you're not snaking through this you have to replace this section of pipe whenever it becomes this bad and that's exactly what we did on this job it was roughly 30 something feet that we replaced to get this main line back in order and the system is now functioning very well so we have some rain footage video here at the end so stay tuned and check it out all right well that just about does it for this video i hope you gained some knowledge from watching it Give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It supports the channel. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area and you need a yard drain or a French drain to help solve flooding around your home, give us a call at 813-614-3456. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.